Rockford's home for Classic Rock, 96.7 The Eagle. Good morning, I'm Double T. Special guest joining me, Freddie Salem, former guitarist and singer of The Outlaws. Freddie, how you doing today? Good. Uh, you're in Rockford, huh? Yeah, Rockford, Illinois, man. You familiar with Rockford? I'll never forget it, though. There was a show, and I can't remember. It might have been at the college. It was Ozzy Osbourne, The Outlaws, and Motorhead. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, that was at the arena. It was the Metro Center. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I remember that show great because uh, Lemmy, he loved The Outlaws. He, uh, uh, he was on the side of the stage the whole time. So uh, that was right. So, oh, how did, were you there? or uh? No, unfortunately, I wasn't living in town yet, but I've heard a lot of stories about that show. That show's legendary. No kidding. Yeah. Great. Ozzy Motorhead and the Outlaws. That's just a strange bill, but it works, doesn't it? It worked. You know, I mean, at that time, we were harder edged. By that time, we'd become rock and roll Marines. The whole direction of the band changed. So it wasn't, yeah, it was different, uh, but uh, we had so many fans in the Illinois area that uh, uh, it was a nice variety. And that's when uh, Ozzy had um, just came out with Blizzard of Oz. Randy Road was on there, Tommy Alda. Tremendous band, really. Wow, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. That would have been a great show to see, that's for sure. Freddie Salem, former guitarist and singer of The Outlaws. Did you guys ever do any shows with Cheap Trick at all? Uh, it seems like uh, some uh, bigger uh, stadium shows. And one was in Los Angeles at the Sports Arena. Talking to Freddie Salem, former guitarist and singer from The Outlaws. There's a new Outlaw CD DVD set out now called Live at Rock Palace. Is that how you say it? Rock Palace? And you said it correctly, yeah. Rock. Actually, it's Rock Palace. Palace. It depends how German you want to be. (laughs) And that's from 1981. What made you decide, okay, we need to release this show all these years later? We were uh, approached by MIG out of Germany who showed interest in re-releasing. And uh, we had not seen any of it uh, except for somebody said a few cuts are on YouTube, but uh, not digitized, not remastered. So it was a year-long process with uh, the company out of Germany. Finally, uh, it came to fruition. Rock Palace is quite an entity for the past 40 years, I think, or longer, a different sh- different artists on everybody from the Who to Finn Lizzy to whoever you want to mention have been on Rock to Last. They uh, do it at different venues throughout Germany. Some are coliseums, some are clubs, some are outdoor uh, outdoor venues. But here's the story: is we were fortunate enough to perform at Lorelei which was this beautiful, beautiful outdoor amphitheater uh, right on the Rhine River, which is so gorgeous. Of course, Europe is such a different market, and they appreciate the American form of rock and roll and roots, especially. Germany, uh, we um, found many, many, many U.S. servicemen, military there, because there's bases all over Germany. Where did all those uh, Confederate flags come? Come from. I said, I said, I think that was the U.S. military that was there. <laughs> Dug into Freddie Salem, former guitarist and singer from the Outlaws, a new CD DVD set out now. Looking at the set list is a great set list. You know, of course, Green Grass and High Tides is clocking out at you know just over twenty minutes. What was the longest version of that song you ever played? Well, I think the live album. Bring It Back Alive was 22 or 24 minutes. (laughs) I think that was the longest to date uh, that was uh, recorded anyway. When uh, the DJs, uh, FM DJs were playing that, that gave them their coffee break. (laughs) They they were able to put that version on and uh, and head outside or (laughs) go out to the studio. uh, Yeah, the live album, Bring It Back Alive, that was... uh, Probably the longest one on record. Yeah, we like to call those bathroom songs. That's what it is. You, you know, <laughs> you should know. Yeah. I'm talking to Freddie Salem, former guitarist and singer from the Outlaws. If people are looking for you on the internet and stuff, where can they find you? Facebook, or they can go to my website. It's Freddie Dash 
Salem.com. Where can people get the new live CD DVD from the Outlaw? On Amazon for the full package. Freddie Salem, former guitarist and singer from the Outlaws. Check out the new CD DVD set out now. And thank you so much for taking the time. It's great talking to you. The Rock of Rockford, Illinois. Thank you very much. Rockford's home for Classic Rock, 96.7 The Eagle.